Stacey okay. Solomon in your under bingo. I've, I've waited. Also, I don't have to put the whole thing. I mean, that's not going to fit. Well, you can try. Try it. I've waited for this day, everybody. <laughs> Make this your first one of watching today if you've never watched before. Here we go. Okay. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. It's I quite dramatic. I drink it. Well, don't just keep it in your I'm like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little drink over it. <laughs> Sorry. Now, this music, this music uh, is supposed to make you feel excited and also a bit like you're on a theme park ride. <laughs> okay, so okay. you know what you got Here to do. Go. It's a little bit oh, cold, so okay. climatise. Oh. How are you with any of the bingo oh, stays? Well, I've nearly finished. Oh, what? yeah, you, I know, stop <laughs> chugging back that water there. <laughs> okay, so just fill your cheeks. and then Fill your cheeks. Fill Let's your go cheeks. for it. Now, first up, we had so many messages about last night's university challenge. Sadly, it's the last time that we are going to hear from our favourite contestant from Liverpool University. Ten points if you can give me the name of the orchestra leader. Liverpool Hiscock. <laughs> that wasn't even that fun. <laughs> he's a legend. He's a leg legendary yeah. player. He's been on our show a lot, and we're waving goodbye to Hiscock <laughs> as of last night. I got so many tweets about it. Bye, Liverpool Hiscock. Liverpool Hiscock. Okay. <laughs> what a ledge. No. Now, more water, please. See, that was the that was the the hardest one, Stacey. Yeah. It'll get easier from now. Oh, okay. On. Right, make sure you get him back. Oh, trust me, it's coming. Even if this is flat as. <laughs> Next to. <laughs> <laughs> Next to Fern Cotton Show on Radio One. Now her good friend Boz has been in touch about about a gig that they went to. Now, I mean, I've heard of intimate performances, but it sounds like John Legend proper took it to the next level. Boz has been on. Boz was also at the gig that I went to last night, and he said, oh, I've definitely got a touch of the old uh, John Legends today. Um, in fact, it feels like he's in my mouth, tickling my tonsils. <laughs> yes, Stacey, good shot. Good shot. <laughs> you know that old phrase? Oh, I've definitely got a touch of the old uh, John Legends today. Okay. I've got a touch of the old John Legend. That phrase that no one uses? <laughs> oh, I've definitely got a touch of the old uh, John Legends today. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh. oh dear. We've all got a touch. <laughs> it means nothing. I know. I just got, got myself. We've all got a, a touch <laughs> of the John worst. Legends. Thank you to Eddie and Jake and Alex and Mark and loads of others who spotted that one. Water, please. <laughs> mm. now, BBC Two brought you some remarkable coverage. <laughs> some remarkable coverage of Friday's Eclipse. Now, presenter Lucy Green seemed to be keen to show us more than just the night sky. If you'd like to take some water there, please. Solomon, Stark. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, okay. Fill your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got a giggler on our hands here, haven't we? This is going to be a problem. Okay. Mm. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, Stacey. <laughs> it's you, Chris. Stop it. You're the worst. You could have given me someone more serious. I am. Like in your end of how rude. Oh. Who would you like? Oh, I don't know. Someone... John Snow. <laughs> Some well serious. Right, come on. Okay, let's... I'm ready. Can we do this because I've got a touch of the John Sorry. Legends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've definitely got a touch of the old uh, John Legends. Today. So we're <laughs> going to BBC Stargazing. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I think this is going to be a massive letdown, just saying, after all that. <laughs> Why would you say that? I think I've built it up too much. Here we go. Oh, Just get through this one. Okay, everyone. I'm ready. And with news of another astronomical treat for you to seek out in the night sky, let's go back out to Lucy. Thank you, Dara. Now, I am very excited to be able to show you this fuzzy patch. That was it. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> That's the best one. It's not. It's, it's Stacey, Stacey, it's really not. There we go, Stacey. Love. We should try that joke from only connect on us. I know. <laughs> she probably find it absolutely hilarious. <laughs> now, I am very excited to be able to show you this fuzzy patch. Okay. Look, she's proper gone at that one. Not even that good. Probably the weakest one of the selection, I'd I would say. I'd be excited to show everyone a fuzzy patch. All right. <laughs> Just put some water in your mouth. Stop talking. So... <laughs> You're going to say something wrong. <laughs> Here we go. 
Now, <laughs> keeping with the wonders of the natural world, it's a classic from Sir David Attenborough. <laughs> Now, here, Sir David is reminding us of something I think we can all relate to from time to time. It's a bonding session that reminds each hunter of its place in the team. Invaluable in the struggle to come. <laughs> You're the worst! <laughs> that was not as funny. As Fuzzy Patch. As Fuzzy Patch. <laughs> Different minds. Different minds. Different minds. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we're just going to have to play the fuzzy patch one again. <laughs> now, I am very excited to be able to show you this fuzzy patch. How can you say that's funnier than the David Attenborough one? It's just not. Why do you have that one? <laughs> I knew this was going to be a, a good one. Oh, okay. Let's, um, let's move on. Oh, no. Okay. Caroline Martin's at it again on BBC West Midlands. Our repeat offender from BBC WN. Yet again, <laughs> sharing far too much information on her mid-morning show. This goes out across the whole West Midlands. After um, 11 o'clock, we do have, don't we, uh, lovely producer Brett, the car mechanic coming in. Yes, really looking forward to this. Um, it happens with Danny, as you know, every uh, month or so. Roy Bickley in the studio with Caroline. So if you've got any questions about your car, if you've got a bang, like my mum has, Caroline, she's driving around, there's this... Thump. Reload. Thump. Thump. In her car. Are you sure it's not the same as me with my sticky flaps? Was... Oh, Caroline, you've done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline! I know. Oh, for goodness You sake. know what she's got. Oh, I've definitely got a touch of the old uh, John Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much fun. Invaluable in the struggle to come. Thanks, Sir David. <laughs> okay, thank you, Josh, for sending that one in to us. <laughs> now we've got a favourite from last week, and it's the classic classic car show on Channel Five. Water, please. It's my favourite show. I know. <laughs> right. Now I worry that this man perhaps is uh, sharing a little bit too much information about the importance of a good ride. Here we go. You've driven lots of different cars. Which one was your favourite? My favourite has to be a 962. It's strange because it's rather like having um, having a wife that you've been with a long time. You don't realise how wonderful she is until you, you're not in her. <laughs> he meant, of course, inside, inside the car. And that, that car being a very enjoyable ride. So, Are you enjoying the game? Yeah. Are you enjoying it, Stace? <laughs> Don't realise how wonderful she is until you, you're not in her. <laughs> David, and, uh, David and Milton Keynes spotted that one. Oh, well done, David. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for the laughs. <laughs> what? Now we're going to the... <laughs> oh, we're no. going to the Gadget Show, also on Channel 5. And presenter Jason Bradbury is always quite rigorous when testing products on the show. But this piece takes an unexpected turn. <laughs> And voila. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, good timing, Amy. Got some toast for you there. Pop some butter on there. You can eat me and I'll eat you. <laughs> no one's expecting that on the gadget show. They are, of course, talking oh, I about. I better start tuning in. Talking about eating each other's toast. Ian in Shrewsbury saw that one happen. It's a good show. Great show. Okay, we're continuing because there's still more. Oh, I'm getting colder. I know. Why don't you use warm water? Great question. Because boring. But that is just actually true. Yeah, your mascara is running a little bit. So. It what happens. Can you do? What can you it's do? It's all right. Charlotte Crosby had an eyelash on her cheek. Yeah. <laughs> We're going over to Country File on BBC One. Now, the presenters often get involved with local competitions. Water, please. Sorry. But I fear that Adam Henson may have, um, well, maybe let himself down a little bit at this country fair. I reckon we'll be taking some of these cups home with us. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> Oh, Actually, it seems as though they didn't think much of the cock. Mm. <laughs> it was a competition. <laughs> Mark and Siren Sester, thank you for that Sorry. one. <laughs> Actually, it seems as though they didn't think much of the cock. Thank you. Oh. And now, let's, let's finish off with a favourite from last week. It's Michael Portillo. Yes. Getting his head around... Do you like this one? Oh. <laughs> Getting his head around a local custom. I put it in the mouth. I squeeze my lips together. 
and the sausage pops into my mouth, leaving the skin behind. Very good, huh? <laughs> For the first time, you do very well. <laughs> Did you like that one, Stacey? That's terrible! <laughs> <laughs> And the sausage pops into my mouth, <laughs> leaving the skin behind. Oh, it's, good, huh? <laughs> it's Michael Ford today there. Enjoy. I'm not watching the right shows. Enjoying some continental sausages. It's on every week. It's great, actually. Wow. Um, and that was today's Inyo de Bingo. Let's not forget Stacey's highlight. Now, I am very excited to be able to show you this fuzzy patch. <laughs> Look, loves it. That was brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Stacey Solomon. Oh, I've definitely oh, got a touch of the old uh, John that Legends fun. today. That was great what fun. <laughs> it's high tens, sorry. It's big tens. What are you doing, tens? <laughs> Always big tens. I was at five, and then I realised it was tens. <laughs> Gave me a couple of fives, I was off the big tens. <laughs> right, that was Stacey Solomon in the bingo. That was better than I could ever have imagined. Thank you so much, Stacey. <laughs> oh, so I love you. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me.